good afternoon and good night. Gospel, mm. healed, healed the sick, um, prophesied, um, preached the gospel, and and saw people saved, delivered, um, everything. It's really, really amazing, and um, like, really like a mountain time in your life. Huh? Yeah, really a mountaintop. Um, I <laughs> hey Melody. Hey, when when I when I went out to to like, um, I I actually left and, and went on staff. I had $2,000 in my pocket and no supporters as a missionary. And I was on staff at YWAM for two years. So after, after all this time, like, like there was a moment when I was on the plane where I was like, wow, this is either one of the worst decisions or the best decisions I've, I've made. And you know, you start like when you step out, like I was passionate. I knew that this was the thing, and I and I and I think it was, you know, and and I was I was zealous and and just like on fire for the Lord and wanting to serve and and do missions. And so um, here I was on the plane, um, two thousand dollars to my name, um, no foreseeable income for the future, um, but God provided in this time, and and it was crazy and fun. And, um, but, but, uh, there was this, this is kind of an interesting story. There was a moment where, um, where I realized, man, I've, I've, I've accomplished almost everything that I, I imagined possible. Like, like nothing, like I, I've, I've done everything that I thought would take a whole lifetime to do, um, to accomplish. And I was, you know, in my you know, late twenties and, um, and, and I, and it actually felt like really, um, it felt really sobering almost because I was like, what do I do now? You know? And, and I felt like the Lord said, you got to dream bigger. Um, and, and that's what the Lord does. He's like, um, there's, there's more for you. Um, but interesting thing happened towards the end of the two years there i there's not a moment that i can really imagine yeah right mm -hmm. um there's there's events that happen so um something that there's there's a couple things that happen and and some of my worst fears actually also happened in that in that time there there was a moment where um 
I was in a train station with, with a team of people and towards, towards the end of my time working with YWAM, I had, I started running out of money. Like my support just wasn't coming in. So I didn't have any money anymore. And my friends were actually getting tired of like helping me out financially. And, um, we were, I was in this train station and if I didn't get help, I was in, in London at a train, at a train station and no one wanted to buy me a ticket on my team. And I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like one of my, one of my bigger fears in life is, is, um, being lost and, um, not having a way home and, and being homeless basically. And, uh, it felt like in those, at that time, like that my world was coming crashing down. Not only did that happen, it, but someone someone did buy me a ticket. But it 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 was just like this whoa moment, and and um, it was before that moment. But I had started feeling like depression, um, major anxiety, even suicidal thoughts, um, crazy, and 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 it was crazy because it was, it was in the time where I experienced some of the most exciting things in my life where I was seeing the gospel come alive. And, and, um, I actually, uh, I actually even, you know, I, I needed to go on medication cause I was really scared I, I, and, and the medication really helped me. But, um, my parents actually bought me a plane ticket to move back to the States and um, I stayed with them. So in this, in this time, when I went back to the States, like the Lord had told me like, you need to go home. This is going to be a rest time. Like, um, it's, it's not because I had had this fear of like, um, leaving YWAM mm -hmm. and, and, um, God said, no, it's not you and YWAM, it's you and God. And, and that, that, he will do something with me like in in America too like it wasn't I didn't have to be a missionary for him to work through me and, and that's so true guys like um, you are every Christian is a missionary in their their um, in their life like in what they're doing and and so um, I felt defeated though I felt like a major failure huge failure and that didn't, that didn't really help. Um, I think that as I, as I went home, um, to heal, I started feeling, um, I, I think, I think, you know, a desire for significance, you know, is a desire for, um, and, and fell into pornography in, in a, in a really wild way. Like I had, I had, you know, struggled with it before but, um, um, like this went deeper. So I really, I really messed up. I, I, uh, it just got worse and worse basically. Um, and I thank God for like what he, what he did like spare me from, but I went, I went to, to depths of like that, that it is just terrible. Like, um, and, and during that time, I, uh, I, I always had the desire for God, but I, I just felt so stuck. Um, and, and he had healed me even from depression and, and, and suicidal thoughts that, that like went away and never came back. But I felt I was kind of stuck. Um, and so, um, so, all, all through that time, you know, I remember back and, and I don't know if you guys have, have had these moments, but, um, there's, there's, when, at, when you look back, there's moments where you say like, I wish I would have done this. Um, <clears throat> I wish I would have realized this earlier. Um, it would have, it would have slipped like, um, it, it, it would have like, it wouldn't, it would like save me from like prolonging the pain. Um, <clears throat> so I was, I was really like, um, in this addiction, this porn addiction. And, um, 
And I'm going to get to the good part here. Um, like I, I would, I, I would like try so hard, um, to, to quit, you know, and, and, and one week would be like great. Well, well, it didn't feel great, you know, because like you fail, 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 fail. And I, I, the whole time I, I was asking the Lord for his, for his, um, for his, um, empowering, empowering grace. grace. I prayed like, what is your empowering grace, Lord? I know that like we were saved unto not, not to strive to change, but to, to live in freedom. Like we're saved by grace and, and it empowers us to live righteous, right? We're not saved so that we can try hard to live free, right? Um, though, though life has struggles, I, I, I do believe that. Like, and, um, and the Bible talks about like walking through the valley of the shadows of death. It's not like skipping over and not trying to go back, not, um, but walking through it. So, um, sometimes we have those moments, but, um, when, when I started dating Monica, I knew that a friend actually was like, told me and I knew, and I wanted to come clean to her. I didn't know how I would. Um, but, um, I eventually told her everything and, and that it was actually a night, um, where I just like confess, confess everything to the Lord. It was divinely orchestrated. It was crazy. Like I actually woke up at 3 AM. Um, and then Monica had woken up and, and that's when she, like someone had, had told her something about me. And, um, and so, man, that night I like sobbed and was repenting crazy, crazy. Like I had come to the end of myself and, um, I actually told her, Hey, like, you know, I know we started dating and you didn't know this. So I release you from, from our relationship. And, and so she, she never came back, but <laughs> <laughs> no, um, she, she was amazing. And, and was like, well, no, I, I, yeah. Is, I, I'm just like, I'm, I'm blown away. You know, she's an amazing woman. Um, but, um, basically what was happening in that time though, is that you were learning the power of surrender, surrender. And, and there's nothing like surrender, um, to, to heal you. It doesn't mean you won't struggle. Um, it doesn't mean that um, that it's all hunky dory after, because I think, you know, there's, when you have an addiction, you have to cut off temptation, right? So whether it's friends or you have to take, take internet off of your phone. Um, this, this is when, after you repent and you surrender, it, it's, it's critical to, to, to be real with yourself to come out of denial, like, um, the Bible talks about how, like, um, we, like, uh, how, like, everything is permissible, but not everything is, is beneficial. beneficial. And I think that, that applies here is like, um, think about like what things that cause you to stumble and cause you to have more temptation it's not worth the, the, um, the, like, like the, the permission is not worth the, the, like causing you to stumble. So some, like in these moments when like, let's say like in a real moment, like when, if, if, if you're a drug addict, you've got to be away from that environment, that environment, those people, those, that substance, um, it's the same with pornography, um, that, that like, I think so many people are trapped because they, they don't take radical change. They don't get real with themselves. Like they keep that computer, um, un, unprotected when they know that when they're in this one place and when they have internet, that they'll be tempted, right? Or, or whatever it is for you, you know, like, 
um, the moments where you're weak. And, and so, you know, there's the radical healing. Like I, I, one night and it all ended one night. Can I, can I add something yeah. too? Um, it's also like really important. I'm really passionate about this because I've not worked through this, like a porn addiction, but I've walked through, um, getting free from like perfectionism. And then the same, it's the same thing in the end. Yeah. Yeah. And it's the same thing in the end. And, and, um, as you're pursuing freedom, the big thing that you want to watch out for is being aware of what's motivating you, like making sure that you're not being motivated by shame or self hatred mm -hmm. or, um, something of that sort that ultimately is tearing you down <clears throat> condemnation. Um, it's not sustainable. No, it's not sustainable. You'll just keep falling into the cycles. We have to be motivated um, by grace, think, ultimately. Think about this. Like, if if you're, like, whipping yourself every time, like... Um, you fail. You fail. Then, like, how are you going to get encouraged to move on? Like, you need to be encouraged. You need to be loved through something. Like, think about Jesus with the woman at the well. What did he do? He loved her to healing. Um, he didn't say, you bad, 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 bad woman, like, go. Naughty. Yeah, naughty, naughty, naughty. Like, you should be ashamed of yourself. No, and that's what we do to ourselves, right? We say, you should be ashamed of yourself, you know? Um, how could you do this? You know, so, so, um, loving yourself is huge. Um, but, like, I want to say this too. Freedom is truly free. Like the gospel is too good to be true. It, it really is. It's like, um, all the good things are for us. You know, we have hard time. We have hard times in life, but God is, is, is saving us from, from the things that like kill us. Right. And like all the good things are for us. Like as Christians, like, as, as humans, actually, he, he says he um, makes the good, like, rain on the, the, on the, the evil and the good. What did he say? <laughs> he makes it rain on the evil and the good. He makes it rain on the evil and the good. So he, you know, um, he loves humans. He loves you. He loves... Um, he loved Hitler. He loved Hitler. You know, I think we'll be really surprised who we'll see in heaven because um, his grace is radical. I'm, I'm not saying that non-Christians who who never accepted him are going to be in heaven. But I am saying that you'll be surprised who turn their life to Jesus at the, at the point of death when, and they never did anything to deserve it. I think we're going to be surprised. You know, what if, what if we go to heaven and, and Hitler is at the front gate, um, you know, um, welcoming us. And, and I, I mean, I'm not saying that he is, but I'm, he, I'm that's a radical. Know, yeah. We don't know what his last moments looked like. You don't know. And, and God's grace is radical for those who turn their lives to him. So I, I just want you to have hope that that in your situation, in, in your addiction, in your, um, uh, whether it's fear, whether it's um, drugs, whether it's sex, whether it's, um, there's no shame. You're, you're, it's, it's going to be all right. Like you can love yourself to freedom. Uh, like you're whipping yourself is not going to help. Um, like you can, you're going to be free. Like there is freedom. There is so much freedom. And sometimes it takes going through hardship, but, but God is going to show you the way. So that surrender, just laying it down and saying, God, I cannot do it anymore. Is, is so powerful. I'm telling you, like, you're going to have major breakthroughs with simple truth, like unle unloading burdens. Yeah. Heavy burdens, unload, unloading them. Yeah. Light. And to give, um, I also had struggled with an eating disorder years ago. And um, I, when I first gave my life to Christ, I wasn't, I didn't still have an eating disorder, but I still had these, like, this unhealthy relationship with food and I wanted a healthy relationship with food. I just didn't know how to navigate it. And so I would press into the Lord and fast and pray and I would 
do all of these things to get free and whenever I actually got free I just surrendered I, I stopped trying to um, change myself I stopped trying to fix myself and it's been it's been like four years like zero like is any any of it you know I think sometimes we run from the invisible fear and and um, I'm trying to think it's it's like the self-fulfilled you know prophecy over yourself like when when you run from something that doesn't exist then then you're fulfilling you're almost fulfilling it yourself you know you know what I mean like like we can be free to be free and surrender the heavy weight so Melanie can you um can you explain that another way I'm having a hard time understanding Maybe we can even chat. Um, yeah, maybe maybe we can. You can message us. Yeah, maybe we could message. Um, that would be great. Do you think? Do you think there's anything else? No. Um, but do you want to? Do you want to pray for them? Yeah, yeah. Let's pray. Lord, I just thank you so much for that. The gospel is great, good news. It's the good news of the gospel, Lord, and I declare. Um, true freedom, true freedom that's not um, um, adding more bondage, more weight, more, um, more, more responsibility, more um, laws, more rules. Lord, I, I, I pray that it would be less, it would be light, your, your, your yoke is easy, your burden is light. And you talk about in I, I, Isaiah 58, where it says um, um, that we're meant to break heavy yokes and, and, and let the oppressed go free. So Lord, I, I declare freedom. I, I declare um, broken yokes. I declare um, um, that, that surrender is our portion. Lord, that, that, and, and those moments where, where we come before God and, and we just let everything go in surrender, Lord, I declare that over people with addictions. It, that kind of surrender that, that, that changes you in, in one moment. And the wisdom to know how to walk out in freedom. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, and Lord, I thank you for every single person. Um, I thank mm. you that it's your kindness that mm -hmm. leads us to repentance. Right, so, yeah. Um, I just invite you, Holy Spirit, to move on hearts mm -hmm. watching this. Um, that they would feel you wooing them you loving them and mm. um, we just bless them father yeah in the name of jesus thank you for every single person who will watch this um mm -hmm. yeah, amen. amen um if you guys want more videos like this we do have a youtube channel where we put all of our live content on it um the youtube channel is under ramey harris r-e-m-y h-a-r-r-i-s so look us up on YouTube, subscribe, comment, like it, share it. Um, but we really love you guys, and we're really excited to have conversations with you. Please um, Facebook message us um, if you have any questions or concerns or thoughts um, or comment below. Um, we love you guys. Yeah. Have a good weekend. See you next time.